is if you have a graphing calculator, I would recommend graphing it. But you got to be careful though as well. Because even if you're just using graphing calculator, just because you're using a graphing calculator doesn't mean that, or when you're using a graphing calculator, remember, a graphing calculator does not tell you what holes are, and it does not show you asymptotes. So you still have to fundamentally understand what's going on. Now remember, asymptotes, the graph approaches. So if you see the graph approaching a value, then you know it's an asymptote. And if it looks like the graph covers it, and, but you know that value is undefined, then you know it's a hole, right? So for instance, like that line, like your graph would just show you that line. Like you guys would have no idea there's a hole there, right, on your graphing calculator. But since you know that 1 is undefined, you would know that there's a hole at x equals 1. Now the example on this, if you have a graphic calculator, graph, great, graph it. You're going to look something like this. This looks something like that. Okay? But then again, you still don't know what's undefined, when it's undefined, whatever else. right? And if you don't have a graphic calculator, here's what you can do. Or here's at least what I'd recommend doing. You should at least, you're going to need at least a scientific calculator. What I would recommend doing is we need to figure out what the value is at 0. We can't apply 0 as direct substitution. right? So why don't we just pick numbers that are really, really close to 0? So why don't we just do sine of 0 0.01 over 0 0.01. Can you divide by 0 0.01? Can you divide by 0 0.01? Yeah, right? Fine. And I don't know what the answer is. Um, but actually, could somebody do it? Because I can I use your calculator? Let's just go through it. Make sure. Um, what? Yes, I stole your calculator. Sine of 0 0.01 divided by 0 0.01. Oops. Mode. So we could do sine of 0 0.01 divided by 0 0.01. So I'm getting 0.99998. What is that really, really close to? One. And remember, I'm trying to get really, really close to one, right? So why don't we try it one more time? Why don't we do sine, sine point um, zero, zero, 0.001 divided by point zero, zero, 0.001? And when I do that, guess what? I just get more nines. So can you guys now see that as I'm getting closer and closer to 0, the value 0, it's just going to get closer and closer to the value of 1. But remember, you got to be careful because you, to find the general limit, you've got to test the left and the right, correct? So then I would have to do the same math by doing the negative, because I want to make sure the left is going to the right. And what you would notice is, if you graph on your calculator or, or look at it that way, um, that you guys would see that they both approach 9. They both approach 1 from the left and from the right. So therefore, if you have a calculator, you could also justify and understand that you have 0 as your whole. And it's not approaching, it's not like approaching like an asymptote there, right? It's like, it looks like it's approaching, a, it's a hole. So therefore, the limit as x approaches 0 here is just simply 1. OK? Thank you. All right, last but not least.